Today we're headed to Oklahoma to hunt hourglass selenite. They're really cool crystals. They actually have sand inclusions, which creates that hourglass formation. And all we're gonna be using today is a shovel. We just made it to the salt plains. Check that out. We're gonna be digging on a dried up lake bed that's covered in white gypsum, which is basically a salt. It looks like you're on another planet, y'all. Crazy, crazy place. Looks like the moon. I'm a little nervous. I see cars way down there. I hope we can make it without getting stuck. Big area, one mile. This place is open to the public to dig for six and a half months from April 1st to October 15th. And guys, it is a must for any rock count. It's incredible. You're guaranteed to find some crystals and have a good time. So let's go check it out. It doesn't say the pounds on there, but I'm pretty sure it's 10 pounds per person. We made it all the way to the parking spot. Woo! And it looks like craters out there. People have been digging here for years. Frank is out there digging and I just whipped him up some chicken sandwiches. So we're gonna go take these to him and see what he's found. Found my first good little one. It looks like someone dug these up and left them. Check that one out. Ooh, he's finding them, no surprise. Here's your lunch. <gasps> Let's see what you found. All right, so. <gasps> Holy cow, Frank. <laughs> and these two I'm letting dry. This oh my one... gosh, I did not expect this. Look at this. Oh. I don't know if it's a cluster. Don't, but, yeah, don't tug but on there's it. A, that's a keeper. <gasps> big one sticking out there in here. Gosh. Look at these, you guys. <gasps> Look at that one. This is awesome. So we drove several hours from Gulf Shores to Oklahoma to mine these things. And we actually didn't get much sleep and we only had a few hours. And that was our very first trip. So we really didn't have a good idea of what to do, but we were successful. So we're gonna share a few tips that we used and hopefully help y'all find some when you come visit. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful, babe. Look how long that one is. Wow, it's a laser. <laughs> That's amazing. Thanks for lunch. You're welcome. <laughs> is that good? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Frank is still finding him and he just <clears throat> popped out this giant crystal. Let's check it out up close. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. We're going to take some water and slowly erode the sand off of them and see if it's a cluster or not. We're gonna do the same thing, just let them dry right here while we keep digging. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> so Frank has dug us a hole, it's filling in with water and we're going to gently clean off the clusters to see if they'll stay intact. So as you can see, the water table is extremely high here because we're literally digging on a lake bed and you can actually see the water off in the distance. As you dig a hole, it'll fill up with water. That helps a lot when you're trying to clean these crystals off. This also helps break up the clusters so you're not pulling them apart. As you can see in our video, we didn't find a whole lot of clusters, but we did find a few and I think it helped being able to rinse them off in the water instead of pulling them apart. And I just found one digging over here in my little hole. I think this is gonna be a cluster, y'all. So I'm gonna have Frank pop it off here in a minute with the shovel. So let's see what we've got. What I've been doing is taking my shovel. There's a layer about this thick where they form and then underneath that's clay. So I'm taking my shovel and getting underneath of them and kind of popping it. It's coming wow. apart. So I don't think oh, it's, it's coming apart, y'all. You can see that clay under here. So we're gonna see what's this piece right here. Oh, let's do this one first. And then this piece. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. Okay, so we just tested the first cluster, ended up being a dud. But it's worth a try. So check that out, you guys. That is a nice selenite crystal. So I've been in the bus taking pictures of items for eBay while Frank's been digging, so I'm gonna go join him and see how he's doing. Wow, <laughs> looks like you've really added to the pile. Wow, can I see? Look at that. 
Oh my goodness. You've been finding really good ones. So Frank kept an especially good one in his pocket. It's a beautiful hourglass. Frank's having a moment. <laughs> Look at that hourglass. I take my shovel and like I was doing earlier, I get it right above the clay, right below the sand. Popping the top off. And then pulling it out. And I don't want to like pull these apart too much. Ooh, that is Jimmy. Look at that, that might be a cluster. Right here? Yep. It might be. And you literally don't have to bring water, just dig a hole and it'll fill up itself. Yep, we didn't add any water to this. But beware, it just splashed Frank in the eyes and it burned really bad <laughs> from the salt. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a good spot. Oh wow, look at that big clonker. And over here too. <laughs> he found him a honey hole. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, cluster. Look at that! So the bottom layer, you can actually just take it off. And then the crystals will be in this. Oh, I didn't know that. Ooh, look at this one. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my goodness. <gasps> wow. And it's got a little rider. What you got? Oh my gosh. <gasps> mm, this is one of the better ones of the day. Oh my gosh. Let's see it. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Perfectly double terminated. Beautiful hourglass. That is nice, Frank. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cluster. Wow. Wow, that one is a little dainty thing. Cluster. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yay. Look at that. Ooh. Beautiful.